Hey everyone, this is Dusko Maka as Thad Gamer, and I'm doing this totally improv, no script or anything, so I apologize if I stumble and sort of ramble on a little bit because I only have the general thoughts I want to share with you guys on mind right now, and I'm just going to kind of come out and say a few things. Uh, first of all, as some of you guys may be aware, I am currently 24 years old, and in about three months I'll be turning 25. In no ways old, but you know, I'm no, no longer young either. And as such, it's that sort of period of time where you kind of need to decide what you want to do with your life. And as you may be aware, I dip my fingers into a lot of different things. I do the miscellaneous streams and video uploadings I do. Uh, for a period of time, I've been doing misc jobs around town. I'm in sort of a beneficial position where if all else fails, I can lay back on the fact that my family owns a business, I guess. It's not a business I'm particularly interested in, but it's there. It's an option. Um, on top of that, you know, I make my own little niche RPG Maker horror game things, hopefully to expand off that eventually. I just released Take the Dream 9, and next up is Red Haze. Those are freeware games, and after that I hope to dabble in commercial game development. However, though, if you've listened to me talk in some of my spare time, you may be more than acutely aware of this. Unfortunately, I've been on some hard times, and I need to start considering what direction is best for me right now. And that is why I'm going to be talking about this today, because it's sort of that point in life where I either decide, do I lay down and go with a more proper job that's going to take up my time, or do I decide to try and go more with my ambitions are, which is not an easy task, and see if people want to support me on such a front. Only because money makes the world go round. Money is, as they say, the root of all evil, but unfortunately it's also the thing that decides if you get to do what you want to do or if you do what you have to do. Anyway, so with all this said, I'm, you might have an idea where this video is going just for me describing what I'm talking about right now. I don't have a huge viewership. I kind of do things that aren't the popular way to do things. I've always purposely sort of avoided adapting things which I'm not personally fond of to do things my own selfish desirable way like I don't do face cam as a miscellaneous example I don't I play a lot of obscure niche games I sort of let my mood dictate what I feel like playing and not playing as an example um, my games are made for a niche cryptic audience on top of this I don't even really attempt to be amusing or funny or entertaining some people do find it that and i'm always happy for that but i don't put on a personality my way of playing games is i just play games and typically i write down and thought thoughts on what i personally think of the game elsewhere i've sort of thought about maybe somehow bringing that to youtube itself because i think that analyzing things could be fascinating in its own way but anyways that's me just battling here no one is forced, of course, to watch anything that I do, and it's up to every single person if what I do is interesting to them and they want to tune in to watch, or if they want to play a game which I make, or partake in anything which I want to do, be it streaming, the video thing. The unfortunate thing is, while I've done it for years, I started doing internet video things all the way back to 2003, uh, that was very different back then. Uh, anyways, I'm unfortunately at the point where I'm barely scraping by month by month, which, you know, it's it could be a lot worse. And, you know, I've been able to do this with a lot of free time, and it's a completely blessed situation that I've been able to keep at this for as long as I've been able to keep at this. But it's come to the point where I either need to decide if I keep on doing this, if it's possible that there is livelihood for me in doing this, or if I need to switch gears, get a job that takes up my time, and then I probably won't be able to really do what I'm doing anymore because what I'm doing, as it is, literally takes up almost all my day, as it were. And there's no way I could sustain doing this if I also had the responsibility of keeping a regular shift job to pay the rent. I would never outright stop doing this sort of thing because I love doing it too much is the simpleness of it. I love working on dorky little small games that help other people enjoy. I enjoy playing horror games and talking to people via live stream and I've come to know a lot of people over time through it and you know among other things. And also on top of this 
I haven't really done anything to scrutinize what I've wanted to do out of this. I've always wanted to focus more on the game than on myself, which unfortunately has the adverse you know, effect that then people will be more focused on me, on the game that I'm playing, than maybe who I am as a person, which is fine. I, I don't do face cam. I don't try to be entertaining when I play games. More so I just kind of play them and give my honest-to-God reaction, I guess, to things which isn't the style for everybody, and that's understandable. I, I could put on a more humorous personality, but I feel like that wouldn't be true to me, if that makes any sense, even though I do enjoy throwing around a good joke every now and then. Uh, among other things, like, I, I've kind of avoided doing things that would have helped my channel grow. I don't. I play horror games on the day that they come out on my streaming channel, but I don't upload them to YouTube till months later when it gets a lot less viewership because I don't want to be part of the crowd. Or I stream on Hitbox, which is like the hipster version of Twitch, and everyone's like, Ryan, why don't you stream on Twitch? It's because I just don't like Twitch, so I stream on Hitbox, even though I'd like probably have at least ten times the viewers I have on Hitbox if I was streaming on Twitch. And There's all these things which makes it obvious that a lot of the reason why I don't grow very big is partially on me. And not even just partially, you know, more wholly on me. It's not anyone's responsibility to watch anything I put out. I'm incredibly grateful to people that enjoy my what I do and watch my stuff, and I enjoy reading all the comments, and then I don't even communicate with people and I read every single comment. There's so much which I could do which could help or have helped over the years the situation I'm currently in. It being, you know, a channel that maybe gets a few people to subscribe each day, and anyways, this is just me sort of self-reflecting, I guess. And the thing is, I'm not sure if me changing to sort of quote-unquote get myself into the style of which people watch these things for would benefit anything, and more so it's not something which I particularly want to do, so... There's been some heart-touching things that people have done recently, which does mean a lot to me. Um, everything from... I, I like posting on video game forums, because I'm a dork. And sometimes people, in fact, it's been happening more recently, people are like, Oh, wait, you're an aesthetic gamer, I know you! And, you know, that's always kind of fun, where it's like, Oh, that's, you know, that's kind of funny that you'd recognize me just responding on this miscellaneous thing, because I was just talking about game dorky stuff, which I enjoy talking about. Or there'll be, there's somebody that I know recently made a TV Tropes page about me, and they've been updating it pretty frequently, and it's been kind of fun reading that, you know, narcissistic, but also seeing how an outside perspective might perceive certain things I say or do. It's interesting, and again, goes back to the self-reflection thing. That, that's the thing about doing this whole thing in the first place, and the reason why I never really feel like there's anything I could demand of what, anyone watching, because it's incredibly a narcissistic thing, and I love people too much. I do. I, I listen to people's problems all the time. I listen to people's stories. I am genuinely interested in people, and I feel that people make the choice of what they want to spend their time doing, what they want to spend whatever it is doing, and it's not for me to tell them that they must or feel some need to watch me play games, or me my small little niche games that are made because they're games that I personally would like to do. Everything which I do here is, in the end, about me, and as such, I don't feel that there is any requirement for anyone to do anything for me, which is why I always feel adverse to asking for anything, because in the end, it's me asking for something that benefits me, not something that benefits them, when in the end what I hope to be is something that helps others, something which people enjoy, something that people can find amusement in. That maybe is being a little bit too harshly critical on myself, but it's just, unfortunately, one of my viewpoints here. Maybe because what I do is an incredibly narcissistic thing, yet as an individual, I'm a person who adores people. I could spend hours listening to people's stories and Literally, I do, because I guess I find people immensely interesting. Anyways, I'm, I'm rambling again. But there's no avoiding this any longer. This is something I need to talk about, because either it's going to go down one way or it's going to go down the other way. Either I'm going to be able to be graced with the opportunity to be able to do more of this, to be able to continue doing what I want to do, narcissistically, selfishly, 
and be able to provide more of the content I've been making over the years for you guys and hopefully make better content than I've been able to do up to this point. I feel like if I, re I can, I feel like I can still improve, greatly improve and be able to provide you guys with things that hopefully you enjoy than I also narcissistically enjoy doing. But if that doesn't happen, I'm probably going to have to go at a lot slower than I am. By a lot slower, I mean, you know, whatever I can fit into me earning a living so I can support myself. Which, you know, it's, it's not like that's the end of the world. It's not like that's some big... Well, for me, I guess it's a big deal, but... It's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. And you personally, the viewer, sitting down listening to me rant about this, you, you know, it's up to you how important I am to you, I guess. If it would hurt you at all, if I were to just stop making videos, any sort of frequent regular updates, or only be able to release a game in between my spare time of doing, trying to keep my livelihood up, so basically, the undertone of all this is I'm at that point where I need to figure out if I am going to continue doing what I'm doing, which is what I would prefer to do, or if I'm going to have to sit back, get one of those quote-unquote real jobs, and then unfortunately have to kind of not, not stop because there's no way I would be able to completely stop, but have to take up most of my time to trying to keep myself afloat. I hate making videos like these, um, but I need to talk about this because otherwise it's going to be like, hey Ryan, why have you slowed down doing everything? Or maybe there's a chance that this can off-put me having to quit doing this, quit doing what I personally love doing. Like, maybe after I'm done with Red Haze and I release my first commercial game, that'll be some tremendous success that'll send me for life. Or maybe, for some reason, my channel will grow overnight. But the thing is, none of that is set in stone. None of that is guaranteed. It's not... I, I don't deserve that. I'm not entitled to that at all. All I can do is continue doing what I'm doing, as I always do, and hope people see value in what I do. There's a lot of platforms that, of course, are made to help artists in this sort of situation, of whatever they do. Patreon being probably the most popular one and whatever. I've avoided doing that up until now, though, because I don't know if for such a selfish thing I deserve to go on Patreon. I know that's backwards thinking. And pe friends, people that I've sort of mentioned this to have said that, you know, I can doesn't hurt to put it up. It's up to people if they decide to donate to it or not. It's just, I feel like if I ever wanted to do something like that, I'd want to do something that makes it worthwhile for others. Something where it's not like I would say I'd play something because I already know myself too well. I'm too spontaneous of a person. I let my mood affect me too much. Then I only sort of play what my mood dictates I feel like playing at that point in time. So I, I guess I could, I, I don't know exactly know what I could offer if for a return of being able to keep myself in a livelier hood, if that's even a word, position. And I guess what I'm going to try and do is do something that's a very me thing, because in the end this is a selfish thing in regards. I'm going to try and do something which is dumb, which is, you know, something which I probably shouldn't be doing, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to see what comes of it. It's what I've always done and it's what I'm going to do until the very end, if the case may be here. I'm going to hold a goddamn stream. Was it going to be anything else? Do you, do you know, realize how much I like communicating with people? It's going to be a stream like any of the streams that we really do. It's going to be one of those horror game playing streams, communicating with the audience. Except that there will be one important thing about this, that's the fact that we're doing it every day for the next seven days, basically. I'm going to try and see if we can figure out during this week of doing things how we've done them up until now. Uh, figure out if there's anything we can change to make it so that what I do can be something I can continue doing. If it's something which can be liable for doing, or if I should switch gears and do something else, I guess. It, basically, if I can support myself doing this or not. I guess we can try setting up one of the Patreon things. I'm going to sort of communicate with you guys what you would be interested in and get that whole thing set up. Uh, I might decide how to tackle the uploading schedule, and I might, that's basically up there. 
how what I can do to make myself maybe more entertaining while also still sticking true with myself. Um, talking about the video game front and other things. To be honest, I don't exactly know how to communicate what I'm trying to say fully at this moment. I have an idea. It's like a thin grasp of what it is, what I sort of need and want to do. But at the exact same time, I don't have anything fortified in stone. I don't exactly know how to express myself at this time. Hopefully that changes. I guess the bottom line for what I'm saying at right now is that I want to figure out my future. And in doing that, I'm going to be spending the next seven days playing horror games and see if we can help figure some stuff out. I'm sorry this is sort of sudden, and I'm sorry if everything I just said doesn't really make much sense if I didn't paint a clear picture. I don't exactly know how to paint it, unfortunately. It's something which I'm apparently I'm not very good at doing there on the spontaneous spot, maybe I should have written the script, but I'll try and communicate to the best of my ability during the next seven days doing this. Uh, hopefully, if, when you guys have time, and if you have the desire to, uh, you can hop into the stream I'll be doing over the next seven days. I'll be posting videos, but we're playing that day ahead of time. And I hope that those of you enjoy the stream, and I hope I'll be able to continue doing this, but we'll see. If you know it doesn't happen, it's okay. It's not really anyone's fault. It's just how life goes sometimes. Anyways, I guess we'll be streaming there. There'll be another video talking about what today's stream is, and I'll hopefully be able to condense what I'm saying right now better in those videos than I'm doing here. Hopefully what I just said made a bit of sense. I'll try and communicate more after the seven days are up, when hopefully my mind's a bit more cleared of what exactly it is that we're doing here and what exactly we're moving towards then. I guess until then, thanks for listening to my little ramble rant here, and adieu to all of you.